G'day everyone, so this is uh, the first week of December, as we said in our introduction video that we're going to focus a lot on the sources till the end of December and the beginning for next year, so we are really pushing and it's going very well. Um, yeah, so due to the fact that it is December, we actually at the butcheries that we are quite uh, established already, the sources are going out very fast, so um, yeah, over to you, my dear. Okay, so um, we're going to do quick follow-up questions. I will be asking Ich, and then he will explain. Um, what can you tell us, where are we with Top Dog, the restaurant? Well, we had our final meeting this morning, actually. Uh, it was supposed to be last week Friday. When we went there, it was quite busy, and the owner was running up and down. So we told him, okay, fine, let's postpone till this morning. So we had our sat down this morning. He's all aboard. We actually delivering our first source orders to Top Dog in Rustenburg um, next week, Tuesday. Um, mm -hmm. So that will be in Top Dog available from Wednesday on the tables for your consumption and delight for free. <laughs> for free. <laughs> Yeah, so, so that's make the you, most of it. Yeah, <laughs> make the most of it. It's really, really, really nice sauce that we make for them. Exclusive for them. Please remember, it's exclusive for Top Dog. Mm -hmm. You will not be able to get that anywhere else in the world. Unfortunately. In the world. Yeah, so we are very happy for that. Um, so we will probably just brief everyone on that again next week, Monday. Um, but yeah, that's that for Top Dog. Okay, and then you mentioned something about a chain store that we also approached. Where are we with that? Yeah, so we did go to them last week. Um, we gave them samples. It's not the first time that we did approach them, but it was the first time that we actually gave them all of the sources, a sample of each. Mm -hmm. um, so we are having a meeting tomorrow, uh, around about nine-ish. Uh, we, we, the, we will be there tomorrow, so unfortunately we wanted to give you guys feedback on that today. But you know, with the big corporate companies, it takes a while and it's always difficult to get the right person um, to talk to. So yeah, we did that, um, having a meeting tomorrow, so hopefully that will be successful and then that will be freely available uh, around the country very soon we're going to start with the two uh, branches in Rustenburg first and then we'll branch out to the, the other uh, shops they have and grocers they have around the country but yeah small steps small steps so that's a, that's a big move for us so we really really hope we get that hmm. and then I'm hungry what is on the dinner menu tonight well on the menu we actually have a, something very nice a nice recipe last week we did the chicken strips and i hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you haven't watched that please go and watch it and try it uh, we do those recipes for your enjoyment um, we don't really do it for ourselves we do it for you so use them um, so um, today we're going to do a, a, a bacon and cheese grilled sub now what happened is back in 2020 just when the restaurants opened, me and wifey, we went to a restaurant and I was so list for a sub, I ordered the sub and it was horrible. It's really, you know, you go out to your first restaurant, maybe three months and you expect something and it was horrible. And we came back and I said, okay, fine, we're going to show everyone how this is being done properly. So it's going to be the same video basically that we have on Facebook way back in the beginning i think it was the first third third recipe that we did um so we're gonna do that but just in english and we're gonna add a bit to it you know as as you grow you learn more stuff so we're gonna be more creative with it uh, remember the recipes that we do it looks expensive but it's not um i can promise you the subs we're gonna do i'm gonna do five the budget for it is maybe 70 bucks um if you count everything um, so it's it, the stuff that we do is restaurant quality food very very cheap so even though 
it tastes very nice and the quality is perfect it's low budget food just we just sprinkle it a bit you know we put a bit of glitter and whatever add a bit of love we add love we add a personal awareness to touch to it so that we're gonna do and um, yeah that's that we will brief everyone again next week so just stay on for the recipe okay so the start of our recipe today is the um, subset that we're gonna do so let's re quickly run through the ingredients first off we have our chopped onion we've got pepper we're gonna show you what we do with that we've got a mixed butter crushed garlic and parsley gonna show you what we're gonna do with that We've got bacon, we've got our cheese colors cut in uh, rings or slices, and we've got our salami cut in um, discs, half discs. Then as a base, we're not going to use a tomato paste, what they use in the restaurants. We're going to use a to roasted dry tomato and chili pesto. Very nice. And I added about um, three two teaspoons of the pesto and then about two um, big spoons of mayonnaise with that right so this is our subs and then this is our lemon and herb island bliss sauce this is a product of wear industries this is a wares brand um, this is the sauces we talk about all the time on uh, youtube so we some of the recipes we're gonna go into detail on the sauces so this we're gonna use tonight um, for basically frying the bacon with and the cheese clips so let's start with our chopped onion i'm gonna add that to the pan and we're quickly gonna fry that while we wait for the onions i'm quickly just just gonna dress one of our subs with the salami so you can see what we do so we put in four pieces here just to make it nice so you can stand out so this is this is just making it a bit pretty like normally we do with all our stuffs so i'm going to dress all of them but this is the first one so you just put it like that so that the points stick out a bit just round it up and makes it pretty there we, there we go so you can see how nice that looks so our onions are ready so what i'm going to do now i'm going to add my bacon to that So we're doing um, five subs, so this is about 100 and 120, 130 grams of bacon. So I'm just going to fry that as well quickly with the onions. So while we're busy with the bacon, I'm just going to take this sauce. So this sauce, if you do like a breakfast, it's excellent. It contains all your herbs that you need. Just going to add it to that, it's going to give it a marvelous flavor. So that's about 50 millimeters I add on to that. So you can see how everything comes together. So I'm just going to carry on like this. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a bit. Okay, so our onion and bacon are perfectly fried. So I'm going to move that to the side. Don't, over, don't want to overcook it. Now we're quickly going to carry on here. As I said for the base of the sub, we're going to use this mixture of the pesto and the mayo. So I'm just going to add that in there. Look at a pretty colour. About a spoon of each spoon and a bit. I think you call this a dessert spoon. <laughs> We're done with that, so I'm just going to prepare one quickly and I'll show you what it looks like when we do everything. So what you do now, you put in your bacon and onion mixture. And then what we're going to do is 
we have here cheddar and uh, mozzarella mixed together so we're gonna add that in there quite a bit then we're gonna go over to our, our black pepper we're just gonna put a bit of black pepper over that and then what we do is for a final finale we're gonna add our cheese curlers a nice pattern over it and then just a bit of cheese so everything is nice and cheesy so that's what it looks like and then before before everything is done it's going to the oven I did preheat our oven it's 140 on this stage I'm gonna increase it to 160 160 for about 10 minutes and then it's done so I'm gonna do the rest so this is what I look like look at the cheese look at the peppercorn on it everything perfect I'm gonna pop it into the oven remember our oven is preheat to 140 I already just now put it up to 160 I'm gonna leave it there for about 10 minutes and then take them out there you go guys, so this is our sub, so this is the last prep that we're going to do. I'm just going to take this butter, crushed garlic and parsley. I'm just going to, this edges because I tend to get hot. So I'm just going to brush it on there, on my edges. Just soften them up a bit. Like, look at the pretty colors, the peppercorn, the texture all of the cheese so we are famous for too much cheese on everything so you can see there so I'm gonna prepare a plate just now with this we're gonna serve a small salad um, just as a type of a garnish and um, chip fries and that's about it okay, let me just finish this up quickly there we go guys we have our sub perfectly done soft on the edges with that uh, uh, butter and uh, garlic that mixture that i put on got a salad and our fries perfect very cheap to do this try it